Welcome back, everyone. They say laughing is the best medicine, and luckily, Rocky Laporte will have you crack it up. He headlines at Harris tonight at 8.30 p.m. Here's Rocky. Thanks. Thanks very much. Thank you. Hey, uh, are you guys like me? You ever, like, start uh, working out, and then you get real sore? Then you lay off for, like, uh, two years? You ever do that? Yeah. <laughs> That guy's like, exercise, you'll feel better. I'm like, I feel better when I'm laying down eating Cheetos. Yeah, me too. Yeah. That's, uh, that's when I'm in my around. zone. And uh, you know what's sad? Like, I exercise and I weigh this much. I got to work out just to stay kind of fat. <laughs> yeah. And my brother, he don't work out. He's junk and he's skinny. Like, that's, you know, people like that, you want to punch them in the neck. He eats bologna. Who eats bologna anymore? I had a bologna sandwich one time. A homeless guy came up to me and goes, don't eat that crap. <laughs> yeah, it's awful. It's hard working out. I was in a restaurant the other day, you know, and uh, I'm, in the, I'm in the restroom, and they had a sign in there that said, uh, employees must wash hands. So uh, I'm waiting like 20 minutes for one of these idiots to show up. <laughs> uh, you think that wouldn't happen in a nice place like the Olive Garden? Anyway, I love coming to Vegas. It was like uh, it was like 106 today. Mm -hmm. I saw some guy driving his car with oven mitts on. <laughs> the last time I was here, I told my buddy, I go, hey, I want to get off the strip. Show me around. You know where you take? We went to the Las Vegas Zoo. <laughs> you ever been there? They had like four birds and a squirrel. <laughs> they didn't even have good animals. There was like a lizard or something ran by. I'm like, what's that? The guy goes, that's not ours. <laughs> It's horrible. Then they charge you to get in there. It was like $8. It comes out to like a buck an animal. <laughs> anyway, well, I'm Rocky Laporte, and I'm going to be at Harris all this week, so come on out and see me. Come Thank on over, much. Rocky. Come on over. Where do you live, Rocky? Uh, I live in Chicago right oh, now. Oh, you do? Yeah, I'm living there in a shy town. Now, how often do you get into Vegas? Uh, pretty often. I like coming here. You know, we come here like four times a year, mm -hmm. you know, and I play over there at the Improv, and it's great. I love coming here. So we were talking backstage, I'm going to come to your show, and it sounds like I'm going to have a lot of fun, because I can probably relate to your show, it seems like, pretty well. So what, what am I expecting when I come? I do a little bit of everything, man. I talk about, you know, growing up and, like, different things, you know, like uh, some stuff that really happens. Like, uh, right around the Christmas holidays, I was, in, uh, I was in Target, and I see this lady in there, and she got a red shirt on, you know? Mm -hmm. So I thought she worked there. Mm -hmm. And, uh, like, what idiot goes in a Target with a red shirt on? <laughs> You know what I mean? That she's mad at me. I'm like, well, right. you got to dress better. Do you work here? Better. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. How did you get your start in comedy? Well, uh, my uncle used to be in show business. You know, we used to listen to him on the radio all the time. And uh, it wasn't really a radio. It was like a police scanner. <laughs> yeah, he was known as the perp. Did you ever hear him? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he passed away not too long ago. He uh, drowned. He was in the trunk of a Coupe de Ville. Yeah? Yeah, the mob got him. <laughs> <laughs> Half my family's underwater. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> now, you have a new, is it a niece or a nephew? You're an uncle again? A nephew, yeah, yeah, my brother. Congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. Are you the best uncle ever? Yeah, oh, absolutely. I, uh, the best uncle ever, I bet. <laughs> he, uh, my brother and his wife, they didn't know what they named. The, they had one of those name, the baby name books, and they lost it two weeks beforehand. So they don't know. I go, look in the phone book, you idiot. Like, just pick a name <laughs> out of the phone book. What about Rocky, too? Yeah, they went with uh, Chuck's Towing, <laughs> So they went with that. He goes, we're just having one kid and we're calling it quits. I'm like, that's a weird name for a kid. I think that's how celebrities name their kids, isn't it? it that's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The no, these book. days, right? <laughs> yeah. Now, do you play poker? Uh, no, no, I'm not that You're good. not really good. I don't do comedy. So uh, we're yeah, yeah. This is perfect. It's I was trying to get warmed up on the way out on the airplane, so I was taking my money and throwing it in the toilet and pulling the handle. <laughs> it's the same thing, ain't it? Well, for me, I don't know what I'm doing. You, obviously, you yeah, do. Yeah, I work at it, but what you're doing, I don't know how you do that. He got up in front of just a dead air, just made, yeah. made comedy. It's, I it's know, important. it's amazing. I couldn't memorize a single joke. There's no way I could tell it. So thank you so much for well, coming in today. Thank you for having today. me. I appreciate and we it. can catch you again over at Harris, right? All week. Yeah, we'll yes. be here through Sunday. Well, laugh so hard, your belly aches with Rocky Laporte at the Improv at Harris. The show 